Jewel was a revelation for me. My father was a faith healing minister in the Ozarks. My mother a hardworking homemaker. Socially, Jewel was very liberal. <laughs> and coming here was the big city. So I came here on a baseball and football scholarship. And at the end of the first football season, though the team was ranked fourth in the nation, it was crystal clear to me that I needed to find a different career path. <laughs> so I struggled through a, a semester, and my father had suggested that when I failed at college, I could return home, work for him in construction in the church. And I wanted something different than I had known. I didn't know what it was. So during my first year, I took a winter session class with uh, in theatrical makeup, of all things. And uh, I met this really intelligent, generous man, Kim Harris, and uh, he was a very young, energetic professor then. <laughs> and uh, it was Kim that taught me that what I needed to learn was to learn how to learn. So I began to understand that the... Uh, Learning opportunities were immense here at Jewel. It gave me a chance to sit with extremely thoughtful, intelligent people. It, uh, it gave me a chance to see how big the world was and uh, how we functioned as a people throughout history. And then I was encouraged to dream about how we can invest what we know into making the world a better place. The motto, it seemed to me at that time, was something like educate the mind, the body, and the soul. So Jewel gave me that broad education of being a whole person and introduced me to people from different walks of life from all over the world. I had a chance to see and observe great artists here through the Harriman Fine Arts series. I remember hearing Marilyn Horn. I met Ozzie Davis and Ruby Dee after they performed on this stage. I actually was the stage manager when Pavarotti was here. I sat in on a poetry class taught by then President Gordon Kingsley. And it was the opportunity to work with the Royal Shakespeare Company, again on this stage, that I began to see a path for myself in life. Jewel was literally a high place on a hill for a young boy with deep religious convictions to see well beyond what he knew onto the possibility of a world made of dreams. So today I dream worlds. Sometimes I create them as an actor, sometimes a director or producer. I feel I now have the background from Jewel to empower new voices to be heard in the established professional world of entertainment and add perspectives and stories from previously silenced voices in American culture. It's an amazing journey. I wish you all great luck.